Oh, you're finally here. Then let's get going. The area words for our destination are Delta Great Cursed In-Laws. What? The old hag's coming too? Well, because there's no guarantee we won't come across any danger. Huh. You coming? Hurry up and invite me already.
All right, we're here. So, let's get this started. Tell me, how the hell do you summon an avatar? You really are a brat, aren't you? Is that how you ask someone to help you? Your boss is the one who put me in GU. Shouldn't you guys be asking for my help? You damn! How dare you speak of Master Yada like? Okay, okay, that's enough. Listen, we didn't come here to fight you two. I know that. Yada already told you. Well, let's recap. Our characters were originally created by CC Corporation several years ago as part of a project. That's what the Epitaph users are, right? So why does this make our characters so special? That's a CC Corp secret. Non-disclosure agreement? Actually, I don't know the answer to that. What about you, Pi? <laughs> anyway, Epitaph users are characters that have the ability to use avatars. To put it roughly, it's kind of like a transformation of your character data in the game. The power of an avatar can be surmised as an alteration of data. Altering data? You mean data drain? Yep. That's one of the abilities an avatar has. Try Edge use data drain to put me back to level one. So, he's an epitaph user too? But wait, he didn't use an avatar. Then what the hell is he? Man, I'm getting confused. By activating their data-altering abilities, Epitaph users are able to gain powers that far surpass the parameters included in the original game design. But that doesn't mean they can do anything. There are certain restrictions governing Epitaph users as well. Soon, you'll come to understand that. So to summon avatars, I just have to understand those rules? Basically. How? It's right here. Huh? Inside your heart, the player's own feelings and willpower are the origins of avatars. Yeah, right. Epitaph users are still just characters in a game, though, right? How does a bunch of binary data get influenced by feelings and will? Epitaph users' characters are different from normal characters. Different how? We're linked to our characters, not just through our controllers and goggles, but through our hearts as well. Haven't you ever felt something like that, Haseo? When would I have felt that? Wait a minute. What the... Something is... Something is starting to... It's... It's growing. Let's hurry up and begin your lesson. Begin? You want to learn how to summon your avatar, don't you? Of course. Then, we'll battle here until you get it. Huh? Battle? Yes. Battles are the quickest way for you to sharpen your consciousness. And that will help you to awaken your avatar. Huh. So basically, you guys don't really know the proper way to do this, do you? Uh, you've got us there. For Pi and me, the entire process was more like an accident when we awakened our avatars. But that accident was fate. For now, let's fight this field's boss.
this isn't funny. Your guard down! Here's our chance! <laughs> Ah! Ah! 
nothing. You're not getting away! Remember this? It was laying around like this before. Course unknown. Fuel insufficient. Function shut passing. Life form detected. Begin fuel request. Hey, bro. Be a bud. Give me some Tim Sphere, please. Oink. Thank you for helping me. Oink. Don't panic. Gale Blade! Shot!
Let's get going! Your guard's down! But how the hell am I supposed to activate the power? Try to figure that much out for yourself. Keep the image of summoning an avatar in your mind. Okay. The image of summoning an avatar. Summoning an avatar. I'll summon you, avatar. Come on. Come on now. Come on. Come on! <laughs> Haseo? Hey! Huh? Let's get going! <laughs> this is it! Ready? Let's go! Let's get to it! Ah! <laughs> Seo, are you doing okay? Hmm? I said shut up! I'm concentrating. I will summon it, so just shut up and watch! <sighs> Haseo, you have reached your limit. Let's call it a day. What's going on? Why won't my avatar appear? Uh, well... Maybe the problem's your lack of talent. What did you say? Even if you are one of the Epitaph users, if you, the player, don't know how to use it, well, then it's pointless. Yeah, right. You two just aren't teaching me the right way. Listen, if you guys can't even keep your promise to me, then the deal that I had with GU is off! 
idiot. If you can't summon an avatar, then we don't need you to help us now. <sighs> Come on, Pi. That's enough. Let's just call it a day, all right? All right. Let's head back, okay? Don't worry about it. We don't expect you to awaken that easily. Better luck next time. <sighs> anyway, just rest up for now. When you've got your stamina back, we'll give it another shot and try again. Well, see ya. Frankly, I'm glad that you weren't able to summon your avatar. Kuhn and I. Now do you understand why we needed two Epitaph users to support you? No. It's so we'll have enough power to suppress your avatar in the event it should go out of control or something. Suppress? Yes. If your avatar went berserk, we would not have hesitated to use Data Drain on you. In order to stop you. No matter what effect it may have had on you. Well, that's just cruel. Is it? Great risk comes with strength that is too powerful. Huh? Neither Kuhn nor myself can completely control the power of our avatars. Power that has escaped its user's hand will do nothing but destroy. This power really shouldn't even be used at all in the first place. But you, you plan to use that power. Am I wrong? If you had gotten your avatar, you would be thrilled to use it. Even if it was the exact same power that hurt those that are most precious to you, you seem to know me well. Well, of course I do. It comes natural to me, don't you see? You and I are very much alike. Huh? I think it would be best if you didn't get involved in these matters anymore. Summoning an avatar won't make you happy. That I know for certain. You don't want me to get involved, huh? Well, for your information, if I could do that, I wouldn't be in the mess I'm in right now.
Guildmaster, huh? Well, I guess I'll go to at home then. Well, since I am the guild master after all, I should check out canards at home.
I'm Grunty. You're Haseo. Boink. So you're the new guildmaster, huh? Boink. An NPC? My name is Death Grunty of the Grunty Race. I'm the manager of this at home. Boink. I won't accept someone like you. Boink. Huh? Managing a guild requires good instincts and talent. Boink. I'm gonna test you to see if you've got them. Boink. Okay, I'll give you two assignments. Boink. And if you can clear both of these assignments, I just might consider accepting you as the guildmaster. Boink. Here's your first assignment. Boink. The three sacred treasures of the Grunty race. Grunty's hat. Grunty's shoe. Grunty's brush. You need to cooperate with your guild members to gather these. Boink. My companions hold the sacred treasures. Boink. If you get down on your knees and beg sincerely, I'm sure you can get them to lend the treasure to a lowlife like you. Boink. My companions are wandering around the city. Hurry up and find them and bring back the sacred treasures. Boink. I don't like him. I don't like this obnoxious weird rodent at all. <laughs> I guess Grunty's event started. What event are you talking about? It's the Guildmaster's certification event for our guild. When you first become a Guildmaster, Grunty gives you an assignment. I don't want to run errands for a stupid NPC. But if you don't clear the event that the Grunty gave you, you'll never be able to use all of At Home's features. So, what kind of trial were you given, Haseo? He told me to find some rare items. I don't think I had a trial like that. Fine, whatever. I can get those items if I just find that thing's companions in the town, right? I'll finish this up in no time. Good luck, Haseo! We're counting on you! <laughs> the sun sets again today. <laughs> How sad. <laughs> How romantic. <laughs> and with myself standing in the twilight, I am the ultimate man. <laughs> hey, you're pretty manly yourself. <laughs> but you're no match for me. <laughs> hmm? So, you want to obtain my manliness for yourself? <laughs> Sure! <laughs> There's always room to be even more manly! <laughs> First, you need to work hard until the sunset has burned itself into your eyes! <laughs>
like the river is sucking in my soul. Oh, you. It's so beautiful and peaceful. Oh, you. My grandma said that there's a palace for fishes at the bottom of the water. Oh, you. I'm sure there are canned tuna and smoked salmon swimming happily there. Oh, you. I want to go. Pew, you. Hmm? You want something? Oh, you. <laughs> I think I smell death. Grunty on you. Oh, ew. The smell tells me that you want something. Who you? You want this, right? Who you? Well, goodbye. Who you? Oh, I want to go to the palace of fishes. Who you? Just thinking about it makes me drool. Who you? Welcome to the ship of twilight, Haseo Nero. I have been waiting for you to come here for a long time, Nero. 
So moved that you're speechless, Nero? Hm. I know just what it is that you're looking for, Nero. It is not that hard for me to guess, Nero. Go on and take this with you, Nero. Now go and be well, Nero. You're Haseo. You're late. Oink. What took you so long? You're as slow as a pig. Oink. Come on. Hurry up and give me the sacred treasures. Oink. Here, I'll give you this in exchange. Oink. Here is your second assignment. Oink. Sell that item with the help of your guild members. Oink. Now get going. Oink. Perfect! You're already great at shopkeeping, Haseo! I'm not gonna be a vendor again! Well, why not? You were so good at it before. Okay then, I'll be the vendor instead. You can open up the menu if you talk to Death Grunty. Put the item that Death Grunty just handed over to you into the shop's stock list. I'll do my best to try and sell the item, so just sit back and wait, Haseo! Oh, and be sure to come collect the money by stopping by the guild shop in the central district, okay? What? What do you mean? Why do I have to go collect the money? Because it's one of your duties as the guild master. Man, what a pain. Fine then, I'll do it.
Oh, you're the kid who came to the shop the other day. Bo, right? I am so glad to see you. I wanted to give you the rest of the money, you know, that I owe you from the other day. Don't worry about that. I gave you the discount. But... Quit being stubborn. Just shut up and accept my goodwill. Thank you. I think that I... Uh, I really like that about you, Haseo. What, what the hell are you saying? <laughs> well, you know, that's just what I think anyway. <sighs> so, uh, what are you playing today? Are you a store clerk again? Well, something like that. Do you know about guild masters? Yep. Well, now I'm one. I'm in the middle of one of those events. So... You're a guild master. Way to go, Haseo. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay then. Congratulations on completing the guild master event, Haseo. Yay! Congratulations, Haseo. Hey, you didn't have to go and buy... Jeez, it's fine, really. I just... I just wanted to help you out, Haseo. But... Just shut up and accept my goodwill, all right? <laughs> oh, I see. Goodwill, huh? Well, thanks. trust you about the length of a nose hair. Oi. Come on now, don't get angry. Don't get angry. It's just a stupid NPC. But I won't accept you as the guildmaster. Oi. I might be willing to employ you as my servant. Oi. <sighs> That's the kind of response it gave me when I became the guildmaster too. It's a pretty weird event. That's right. Calm down. This is just an event. It's just an event. This should be appropriate for a servant such as you. <laughs> what do you think you're doing, you pig? I'm not a pig. I'm a grunty. That charm I put on you is something you should be grateful for. It'll monitor your every little move. Oink. It's been carved inside you, so there's no way you can remove it. This way, I can tell exactly how hard you're working for my guild. Oink. It is called the Charm of 1000. Oink. All right, Haseo. Work for my guild like the workhorse that you are. Oink.
Oh yeah! Hey, Haseo, you can probably ride the steam bike now. That's true! I'm pretty sure that the condition for getting and riding the steam bike was to clear the first Grunty event. Go on and give it a shot. It's a lot easier to move around the cities and fields with one. talking to me from don't bother looking for me boy I'm using the charm I affixed to you to talk directly into your brain boy who are you to order me around did you say something boy you can hear me I know everything boy don't bother trying to hide from me, boy! The button guide in the lower right corner of the screen will always... So, man, I'm so tired. I think I'll log out and check my... 